Uh, how do you plan to defend a mobile quarterback such as Bryce Young? Um, you know, just doing the small things, just pressing the pocket, you know, I would say making sure he's not back there just sitting on his spot, getting to his first read. You know, we want to get him moving a little bit, you know, flush him and get him outside of the pocket. Do you believe that this would be the toughest test you had that y'all face? Alabama's average and, you know, 43 points per game, almost 500 yards total. Yeah, definitely. Just because of the magnitude of the game, you know, we're, they're going to get our best and um, we're going to get there. So, you know, it's going to be a pretty big game for us. Tough test. And how's the mindset entering a game like this? It's one of the larger games of the week. How are you going to, you know, scale it down and, and keep focused? You know, we're just taking it day by day. It's all about the preparation. You know, um, it, it's a trend for us. When we practice well, we win games. And we've been having a great week of practice so far. So if we continue on this, I think we'll be fine. You guys have been great this year in the second half, adjusting. Why is that? Um, you know, Coach House, he's just he's very detailed in his work, and I'd say we're pretty good at adjusting when he comes in the halftime and gives us different things and tweaks to the defense that we need to do. So I'll get that up to him. You know, he's pretty good with that. On the flip side of things, as Coach House kind of emphasized this week, that you guys need to start fast. You can't uh, kind of fool around with this Bama team. Um, I, I would say that's on us as players. Sometimes, you know, you go out there the first drive, you're trying to fill it out and feel the speed of the game, but we have to dictate the speed. We can't let the other team do that. So I'll say that's on us as players. What have you seen from this Alabama offense? Obviously, they've got a lot of explosive players, but what have you seen personally? Um, I would say on film, it appears they have a, a well-coached O-line. You know, they do things. They move well together. Um, the running back is electric. You know, he's a guy you got to get on the ground because he can make the first guy miss. And obviously, the quarterback, he is what he is. We know, we know about him. Well, what do you guys got to do to kind of stop that? Y'all want to make them one-dimensional, stop the run first, and worry about Bryce Young, or is it kind of you got to stay on your toes the whole entire game? I mean, you know, we want to do both. You got to stop the run, and earn the right to rest the passer. So once we handle that, we want to get him in the third and long situations, and we want to, you know, get after him, get him off his spot, and just not let him sit back there and be comfortable. Do you feel like this defensive line's playing at a very high level right now? Oh, definitely. Just our, you know, our attention to detail throughout the week. You know, we're just going day by day, focused on getting better. Um, huge game against Ole Miss for you. Stuff right. just about every stat you could. Um, what do you attribute that success to? Um, just detailing the work and practice. You know, if. I've noticed, like, especially with me, if I practice well, you know, I play well. So just going hard in practice, just making myself exhausted. So when it comes to game day, everything will be smooth for me. Did you hear anything from your teammates about the performance? Were they talking to you after the game or during the week? Like, hey, look, look, look who's coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we was turned up on the field, you know. We always have a good time. We, we pick each other up, hype each other up, and we make big plays and stuff like that. And yeah, I heard it a little bit throughout the week. <laughs> so how do you carry that momentum now to this Alabama game two weeks later? Honestly, just got to put it behind me and just prepare the same way, just with the same magnitude, just attention to the, de to the small details, and just make sure I go in and have another good game this week. How do you think that, you know, that front four, really the front seven, can, can do that as a whole? Um, just got to play gap sound defense, I would say. Just, you know, trust, trust your teammate. That's all it really is. It really is. Do your job, do your one of 11, and trust your teammate. Speaking more on the momentum, do you think a bye week coming after these two big games is helpful or hurtful? Um, I would say it's helpful. You know, it helped us get our body back. Just the little small injuries everybody was have, having. You had time to rehab it and, you know, get the little kinks out and stuff like that. So I would say it's going to help us. And interestingly enough, Alabama also had a bye week. You know, Bryce Young's been dealing with a shoulder injury. Do you think that that's going to kind of hinder their game plan a little bit or? Um, not really. I think they'll, you know, they'll come after us with everything they got, you know. Appreciate it.